Well, good morning and uh, happy Father's Day. So we're going to continue on uh, a little bit of uh, travel trailer build. And today we are going to finish up a few things that I started a few days ago. And, uh, and then we'll move on. We're getting pretty close to being able to pull this thing out of the garage and uh, put the skin on it. And uh, that's going to be pretty exciting. I know everybody wants to see the outside of this thing. And believe it or not, so do I. Uh, the garage is pretty small and I, I can't see the whole thing. So anyway, let me show you what uh, I started on, what we're going to finish today, and a few things I got done, and what we still need to do. So with that, stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to put the back cabinet here. And uh, there'll be a nice top on there, and I'll probably have another cushion made just for, uh, just for looks. And uh, if I have the table down, then it'll be a seat. And uh, I got a false bottom in right now. And we are getting ready to put our sides on here. And once that's done, we'll put our plywood up. We'll route it out. And I'm going to have two cabinet doors uh, opening left and right. Just like these. And it should look pretty good. I'll get it painted today. And then we'll start on the countertop. But that's what we, we have so far. And I'm getting ready to put these on. I'll countersink holes here to fasten this piece. And I've got a couple of pocket jig holes there that we'll uh, fasten that with. I have another piece that go across the bottom, another one on the side, and one across the top. And that way it's all the same distance around the edge and uh, look pretty good when we're done. So let me, uh, let me fasten all these on and I'll give you a shot when we're finished. Okay, so I've got all my sticks in and uh, for the top piece, this piece here, countersunk here which is going to be covered by the cabinet top. And then on the sides, I also countersunk here and pocket drill here. The bottom I had to put on the top like this. So I have a uh, 3 8 wooden dowel which I am going to cut four pieces and we'll glue those in there and then I've got a little Chinese saw that will cut those off and make it nice and smooth. Then we'll put the face of our cabinet on here and get it attached and then we can route that out. Make another big mess before we put the top on. Once that's done, then our next task will be to laminate our countertop and get that secured in place. That'll be done. We have the table, front table cut, and right now it's just sitting on the stanchion table leg. Uh, I still have to put the edge banding on here, sand that a little bit smooth. And then once that's done, we'll get this painted and put our railing up for our table, just like we did around here. Then we can cut our table to fit there, round the corners, get it edge banded, and I think then we'll be able to fasten the legs to the floor and to the table. And that part will be done. So getting closer, uh, I think this is going to look pretty good. A couple cabinet doors that swing out both ways, and I uh, need a couple more handles, but I think that'll look good. Not just a little extra storage space, just a big box actually. Uh, throw bedding down there I guess if I have to try to utilize every bit of space that we have so that's what we're gonna do try to get done and uh, with any luck we'll have that completed today cool alright stay tuned Japanese flush cut saw one of these we're gonna take and uh, just gently cut the tops off of each one of these and hopefully it's uh, nice and flush there, so when we run our router around there, there's no dips or anything like that. Um, not that it'll be too noticeable, but try to avoid what we can. All right, let me get this cut. And there you have it. Take your saw and you uh, flush that with the top. Nice and even. 
and then you take a little bit of sandpaper on the block and flatten that down pretty good and then the pieces left over chuck them in the garbage I guess there so now we're ready to put the face on so we're getting one step closer here cool all right let's get that on okay so we've got the box installed now <coughs> so what's left is to uh, drill a hole and router our opening out and then we can get it painted so on the uh, upper side I left a gap between the uh, door here and the base here on both sides that way when I open and close it's not going to catch and uh, all that will be concealed by cushion anyway so it's going to look pretty good so let's go ahead and get this cut and then we shall get ready for some paint stay tuned okay so we got the uh, the hole cut out for our cabinet and sometimes no matter how careful you are uh, accidents are going to happen so while using the router um, I didn't check to make sure it was pretty tight so it slid out on me and this is what happened everything was going good I come around the corner routing easy nice and slow and I got down here and then ouch well cabinet doors will cover it but the fact is it's still there so it really marred it up pretty good it's a good chunk and uh, I didn't pull away fast enough so we're gonna take our hand at uh, fixing that and we'll see we'll see how well we do all right stay tuned okay so here's my fix I cut a piece put it in there and glued it in place I'll wait till the glue dries and then I'll sand it down a little bit make sure it uh, it's pretty straight and then for the top my corners I'm gonna have to square off on both sides so I won't have that nice round edge that I like but that's okay then I will cut me a stick maybe about an eighth inch wide and I will cap I will cap that off just like so and you'll never see it the only way you'll see it is down in under here but shouldn't be sticking your fingers in there anyway okay well minor setback no problem though we can fix it that's a good part there's uh, as you're building these things there's nothing that you can't fix if you screw it up and that's kind of a major screw up <laughs> man chattered on me but when it's done, you won't even know it was there. Cool. All right. Moving forward. Well, that's how we're going to fix it. It's going to look just like that. There. Never even know it was there. Put a little gook and bucky in there. Cover up the uh, staple holes. Glue that down real nice and good and uh, paint it good back to normal okay moving forward well we come to the end of a pretty good day and uh, as always I never get done all the things I want to get done uh, and I had one minor setback with uh, the router slipping on me and uh, notching out a cabinet but uh, with that said, I did get the cabinet built. Don't have the doors on it yet. I still got to pick up an extra set of hinges, a couple pull handles, and uh, then I'll be ready to install those. And I did get the piece of laminate cut for the countertop, but I don't have it installed yet. I can't find, believe it or not, in this little mess that I have, my laminate roller. Um, 
you know, for years that thing just sat around and got in the way. I was always moving it and throwing it around stuff, and the day that I made it, I can't find a thing. So, I'm going to have to go get one. So with that, let me show you what I got done and uh, what we plan on getting done next time. So we have the cabinet built, and we've got everything filled and all painted. And if you remember down here on this corner where we had the uh, major mess up, um, it turned out really, really nice. Uh, there's a little gap under here, but they like said nobody's going to be sticking their fingers under it. So that turned out all right after a little bit of repair work. No bondo or putty or anything like that, just all wood. So that is the cabinet. And then once these are closed, I do have a little bit of a seam on each side to allow a little bit of expansion. And also, when I raise and lower, it's not going to hit the uh, hit the box. And I will get another cushion and put across here on the top, uh, just for you know, just for looks, and uh, be nice. The doors, I'm gonna have a biparting door, so I'll cut me a piece of plywood, uh, the birch, and I'll go ahead and I think the way I'm gonna do it is cut the size that I need. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hinges on both sides. And once that's secure, then I'll take it back off, and then I will split it right down the middle. That way I know that my doors are uh, got the even thickness that I want. And it should look fairly decent. Um, I think it turned out, turned out really well. Then I also got the laminate cut for the countertop. Right now it's just sitting on there. I've got about a half inch overhang. Uh, it'll be all the way around. And once I get my roller, then I can go ahead and put down the uh, contact cement and uh, put down my sticks, lay the laminate on top, and one by one pull out the sticks and then roll the laminate down so I get all the air out. But I think that looks pretty good. It uh, matches with the floor, I think, fairly, fairly well. And uh, I would have preferred something a little a little darker to match the uh, appliances but I think overall that's gonna work and I do have the uh, table up here set up and I didn't get this cut so I still have to make the staves for the table to set on and once the table set on when I raise the table up that I can actually move it back 12 inches and that'll give me plenty of clearance away from the edge of each cabinet. So that's what we got done today and uh, I think it turned out really well. We're getting closer. So as always, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned because there's tons more that we've got to do. We still have uh, corner molding and trim that we've got to put on the inside but Probably not so much as uh, step by step on that. I'll just get some pieces done and, and uh, take some pictures and video what, what we have accomplished. So I put all the cushions inside so when I was routing I didn't get dust and everything all over the place, which, uh, which I did so I had to run a vacuum. And remember, when you get done with a task, clean up. So when you come back in and start a new task, you don't have to clean up first. It's all ready, ready to go. So that's my tip for the day as a reminder. And until next time, thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, leave a comment. I appreciate the, the feedback that I get from people who uh, are watching the videos. It's really good. So stay tuned.